people what's going on guys welcome to a brand new Madam mobile video on my channel and in today's video the gridiron promo has just dropped the gridiron promo is going to be the final promo um inside of madden futures this is going to be a seven day promo and i'm i'm super super excited because this promo is very very straightforward it's very very easy to do um, you really have to put like very little work in whatsoever. The sets are much nicer than the sets we've seen in the past, in my opinion. Um, I just, I, this promo is very, very nice. Uh, and it's very, very easy to grind, very, very easy to follow. And as always, I will be giving my best grind guide for this promo, how I think you can get the most out of it, along with going over, you know, the sets and a little bit about what is new with this promo, all right? Before I go any farther into this video, I just want to say that I apologize that I haven't uploaded any videos uh, really in the past few days. I've had some super cool video ideas that I want to get started on, um, but Madden Mobile just hasn't been as fun. For me, I love Madden, I love Madden Mobile, any of the any of these like games where you know you get to build any any of like these sports games are more fun for me. Um, when the promo or when the game first starts, you know, when everyone's competing for elites, when your team's not great, um, there's just like your team's not super, super good, and you're always looking forward to the next promo. What's coming out in the next promo? I want to get, you know, the next 90 overall card in the next promo. Um, but now, you know, the game hasn't been as fun. I basically have a team that's end game material. I don't really need to do anything to this team. If I wanted to, I could just leave it here. I've got three Mad Max wide receivers, even if they're not super tall. I've got a Mad Max halfback. I've got a full 100 offensive line. I've got a good defense. I don't really need to do anything if I didn't want to. So there's not as much, you know, hope for what's coming out in the next promo. So I haven't had, you know, too much excitement with the game, but I do have some super cool video ideas that I want to drop in the coming days. So if you're interested in, you know, following, subscribe to my channel, hit that post notification bell so you won't miss out when I upload anything in the future. Now let's go ahead, let's hop into the Gridiron promo so we can check out what is new and what events to play. So if we check out these sets, we are going to have one 105 Grandmaster in this promo. Like in the previous promo, we will have 105 cornerback Patrick Peterson, all 99 stats. Um, I'm not sure how tall he is, so if you've got already a bunch of tall cornerbacks, he might not be, Pat Pete might not be the um, best one, but I'm sure he's, you know, decent stature. Um, and then in order to get him, you're going to need three Titanium Masters. Your Titanium Masters are right here. Currently, we have five of them out. We have Naeem Hines, uh, Naeem Hines, we have Vita Vea, Ben Jones, Jason Witten, and Leonard Fournette, okay? As always, expect EA to release more Masters. I know one of you guys went in the comments and asked if I knew when the new, uh, the new Masters would drop or who the new Masters would be. I have no idea. Um, I don't know if any other YouTubers have any idea whatsoever, but they usually drop three to four days after the promo has come out, um, which is enough time for you to get enough badges and players and all that stuff to get at least one master. Um, so expect them to drop in the next three to four days, and I have no idea what players they are, what positions they could be. They could be, you know, cornerbacks, they could be quarterbacks, they could be wide receivers, they could be anything. Um, but I wouldn't expect them to, you know, duplicate positions. So I wouldn't expect them to release another halfback um, unless we've already got a bunch of other positions filled. So I would expect when the Masters drop, I would expect one defensive player at least. We only have one defensive player right now, Vita Vea, who's a defensive tackle. Everyone else is offense and special teams. So expect at least one more defensive player and then either a special teams player or probably an offensive player to come out in the next three to four days. Again, EA may not release anything. They may only release one master. Um, but if they do release masters, expect at least one more defensive master to come out. Okay? So we need three of these 100 overalls to get Patrick Peterson. Now, this promo is going to be very, very similar to the Powerline promo. If you guys remember in the Powerline promo, you essentially get a base 95 overall version of a card. You've got to get enough, you know, 90s, 85s, and 80s in badges. And you get a base 95 overall card. Then you get the 98 version of that card. Then you get the 100 overall version of that card. You're building the card up, okay? Now, in this promo, what's a little bit different 
is you're going to get the 95 and in order to get the 95 you're going to need you know 90 overall players 85 plus players 80 plus players but you're also going to need badges okay very straightforward but then the 98s the 98s will not take badges the 98s will require the previous 95 version of that card along with banners instead of badges 90 plus players 85 plus players and then 80 plus players and then the 100s will require uh the 98 and then they will also require shields alongside the 90s the 85s and the 80s so it is not just badges that you will be putting into these uh masters the 95s will take badges the 98s will take banners and the 100s will take shields and as you can see obviously the shields are going to be a little bit more expensive because only seven of them are going to be required for the 100 overall master um it'll take 16 banners for the 98 and then it will take um 55 badges for the 95 so it's a build your card promo you're just going to build the card up um and then after you complete three you'll get patrick peterson now one thing that you will see with all of these sets with the trade-in sets that are down here and the masters there are no tokens there are no token requirements whatsoever for masters for shields for anything like that which is super awesome i hated shield i mean i hated tokens because i've all it's just something extra to worry about when i'm trying to get shields and banners and all that stuff i hated it it's the worst thing i i still have like five thousand tokens left over from the king of the board promo that i've got to turn into badges and banners and stuff like that um but i just i hate tokens i'm super super happy ea has not released any tokens whatsoever um and then as i said you've got your trade-in sets down here you you can turn in uh, amethyst, cobalt, and emerald badges to get iron badges. You can turn in iron badges along with amethyst, emerald, or cobalt badges to get banners. And then banners along with emerald, amethyst, or cobalt badges to get shields. Very, very straightforward. The sets are very, very easy to follow. As I said, no token requirements. So the question is, what events should I be playing? How can I get the most out of this promo? How do I get everything I need to get 395s, to get my 398s, to then get my 3100s and my free Patrick Peterson 105? Well, the events are very, very straightforward. As I said in the past, this promo is super easy to follow. Every day uh, when you log on, I know my event page looks kind of messy, but I have been I've been playing um, a lot earlier today just you know test everything out see what was going on in this promo every day you're going to have a blank screen where all of these ones and threes and like green bricks are and you're going to have a blank you know blank screen and then you're also going to have your events over here so you've got three events to your left you've got a titanium blitz which is the top event you have got a cobalt i believe no you've got a chrome blitz event and then in the bottom here you have a um iron blitz event okay so every single day as always you're going to want to play the first wins for these events and essentially what these events are going to give you is they're going to give you these key quick cells which turn into grid iron keys up here if you look right by your stamina you've got grid iron keys um, and then what you use these keys for is unlocking these boom or bust type packs. So all of these, uh, all of these little squares that you know are shining in the center right here, they're all going to be locked. And it takes 70 keys to unlock one of them. And then after you unlock them, they'll give you some kind of reward usually it'll be like badges and then maybe a few keys in return so you know you'll spend 70 keys you'll get maybe like a couple amethyst badges and then 15 keys in return um and then sometimes these green ones these green one uh these like you know green things that you can see these are boom packs so these are boomer busts as i said if you get something really good it'll be a boom and it will usually be like a bunch of amethyst cobalt and um, emerald badges, then you'll also get maybe like a shield or an 85 plus player. I'll flash up on the screen right now, um, a very good boom that I got. I believe I had a bunch of amethyst, cobalt, and emerald badges. On top of that, I got an 85 plus player and a shield, okay? And it's not gonna take you too much time to get all of these. All you're gonna have to do is play these events. Each one's gonna cost a different amount of stamina. So titanium is going to cost you 45 stamina. 
um, but it's going to give you 90 of these gridiron key quick sells every single time you win. Um, the one in the middle, the Chrome Blitz, is only going to cost you 30 stamina, but it's going to give you um, 60. It's going to give you 60 of these keys every time you win. And then the one on the very bottom here is going to cost you 15 stamina. The Iron Blitz will cost you 15 stamina, and you'll get 30 of these Gridiron Keys every time you win. Now, if you put them up as a ratio, you know, 45 stamina to 90 keys is the same thing as 15 stamina to 30 keys. So it doesn't really matter what event you choose to play um, after you play the first wins. So essentially what the grind is going to be, I know I'm kind of confusing, but the grind essentially play the first wins for all three of these, okay? Then what you're gonna want to do is just auto play any of the events use the rest of your stamina and just auto play any of the events as i said the ratio is the same so it doesn't matter which event you play but you'll get you know the same amount of keys so if i have you know 200 stamina i could auto play any of these events and you'll get you know the same amount of keys my recommendation is to auto play the very bottom event right here it costs the least amount of stamina it only costs 15 stamina um, so it's going to use more stamina than let's say, you know, the event that costs 45 stamina because if you've got like Because if you've got like a hundred and fifty stamina this event is only the the uh, Titanium blitz that costs 45 stamina is only gonna let you play it like three times Whereas the event down here is gonna allow you to play it much more It's gonna allow you to play it like ten times and use a whole lot of stamina Okay, so the grind is simple. Play these, uh, all three of these events for the first win. Then grind out any of them. My recommendation, again, is the bottom event until they reset, to which you will then want to play the first wins again. And then with all of the keys that you earn, just start opening up these um, boom or bust packs. Again, I don't know if you know specific ones if everyone has the same exact i don't know if everyone has the same exact like board so everyone will be able to get you know the same rewards every single day depending on which ones you select um it, i'll i'm willing to bet that it's random so just use all of your gridiron keys that you earn from playing the events and just open as many of these as possible as you can you should be able to open up all of them every single day um it should not be that difficult because i don't believe they reset um so that it's very 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 straightforward i hope this wasn't super confusing essentially i'll run over it one more time play all three of these events on the left for the first wins then after you play them use all of your stamina on any of the events my recommendation is the bottom event i recommend that you play the iron blitz event with the rest of your stamina then with all of the gridiron keys you earn just start unlocking all of these boom or bust packs okay you should have enough to open all of them um by the end of the day and then you know when the events reset play the first wins again and then just pour the rest of your stamina into any of the events my recommendation as always is going to be the iron blitz at the very bottom after you play this for about seven days you should have plenty of these um amethyst cobalt and emerald badges to get you your iron badges to fill in all of your 95s and then enough to you know then get your banners and then also get your shields all right i do hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification bell if you haven't already you will be notified whenever i upload any more grind guides in the future again i hope this wasn't confusing it's a very very straightforward promo um, and if you want to buy coin packs and gem packs, you totally can. It's not that bad of a bet if you buy either the gem or the coin Bible packs. Um, but, you know, some people might be saving coins to do shopping sprees or saving gems in case EA does release some kind of super cool gem offer near the end of the game. Um, but the gem packs and the coin backs are not a bad offer. Again, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel, hit that post notification bell, and smash that like button. I'll catch you in my next one. Peace out. Have a great day.